It's holiday season and let's talk about gold and especially what those numbers mean when it comes to gold and the numbers and in this video I'm gonna be referring to the purity of gold purity purity of gold commonly referred to in English and in many other languages by the word carrot it's either spelt with a C or spelt with a K across many languages it's carrot now to add to the confusion there is another word spelled the same way carrot referring to the mass or weight of gold in this instant we're not talking about the weight of gold we're talking about the purity of gold okay this word carrot also has nothing to do with garden vegetable carrot and this word carrot comes from carob seeds okay I'm just gonna put them there good to go for the bird feeder so gold the maximum number indicating purity is 24 just 24 okay don't ask me why it's probably for the same reason as there is 12 inches in a foot okay there are 24 carats maximum and uh, indicating the purest gold so that's 100 percent gold now your gold and items are usually not a hundred percent gold they usually have other elements added to it to make it usable because pure gold is very much like baking foil or aluminum foil it's so soft that you can crumple it up and uh, as is not very useful for jewelry because uh, because uh, in jewelry making you have these little catches and latches and things that you have to pry with your fingers and fit the pieces together and if they deform like this during assembly well that ain't no good so that's why they make it a little harder and they add some alloying elements to pure gold because otherwise pure gold is just like this baking foil okay so how the carrot numbers go for example if you have I don't know uh, 18 carat 18k or with a C 18c 18 carat gold that means that it's uh, about 75% pure and uh, how does that come about right it's 18 parts 18 parts are made of gold and I'm gonna instead of gold I'm gonna write AU because that's the symbol for gold in chemistry so 18 parts are gold out of a possible 24 parts 24 parts representing the purest one so 18 out of 24 is the same as 3 out of 4 is the same as 75 percent 75 percent there's also a thousand base system that's being used so this would be called uh, 750 gold you'll get this one real soon if you have 12 carat gold that means it's 12 parts out of 24 parts are gold and the rest is alloying elements I'm going to talk about that uh, in just two more sentences so 12 out of 24 is 1 out of 2 is the same as 50% okay you're getting this let's do a third one how about a 20 carat gold that would be 20 out of 24 well that's a fraction that doesn't reduce very easily so let's do this on a calculator 20 divided by 24 equals uh, 0 0.8333 so that's 83.3 percent gold so I'm gonna go 83.3 percent gold but uh, because of these decimal percentages uh, this other system this millesimal or thousand base system is also used so this would be just 800 okay that's ugly 833 833 gold and this would be 500 gold because it's 50% so it's 50.0 and we just drop the decimal dot and just call it 500 gold and uh, what happens with alloying 
and uh, alloying means mixing in another element so typically what's added to gold is silver and that uh, silver is the AG in chemistry you either add silver and that makes white gold when mixed in with gold so when you have a 75 percent gold or an 18 karat gold the, the balance the 25 percent that's missing from it it might be made of silver or another white metal like nickel although many people are allergic to nickel so uh, you see there's problems there or you can add in copper okay the R doesn't fit just imagine it's their copper and it's in chemistry it's CU so when when gold is mixed with silver it's gonna become white white gold and when gold is mixed in with copper it's gonna get red, not entirely red like this not this red but you get the idea so you can see marks done by the goldsmith or the or the maker on uh, these items I'm gonna get the camera off the tripod and try to zoom in on this one extremely small little tag let's see that one let's see what the camera can do in this low light you can kinda see it says 12 carat 12 kt on it okay so this thing is 50% gold and by the color of it because it's kind of red you can see this one is whiter than than this one I'm guessing that this one was made with gold alloyed with copper this one would be somewhere on uh, halfway through this one has more copper to it and this is 12 karat gold with a bunch of copper this one here looks even whiter than this one so on the grand scheme of things this would be 18 karat uh, chain uh, with 25% silver to it and what else do I have here here is this little thing which also is kinda red it's very hard to see it in this light but also belongs to that that group there lots of copper in it actually this one is so light that oops almost lost it this one is so light it's it's almost entirely made of copper but uh, so that would be the idea with the numbers when it comes to gold.